this must be probably one of the oldest recipes I've ever tried. I got it from Food Network when I was young and had time to watch TV. And I love this recipe so, so much. Probably during, throughout the year, I may bake this cake. This is simple upside down cake, but very, um, very good recipe. I've tried other ones as well. Uh, I probably bake this four or five times. Is it too much? Or maybe not too much. To me it's too much because I'm not a big sweet tooth. I don't bake way too many cakes. This one is a special one. Let me quickly share the recipe. Um, what we need. For the dough, we need sour cream, baking powder, pinch of salt, uh, flour, sugar, vanilla extract, butter and one egg. Also, zest for lemon, and of course this is peach upside down cake, but the original recipe is with green apples, which is another good um, variation. Winter time I make it with apples. Um, this season, since the peaches are in season, and be sure to get really hard ones, not uh, soft and juicy ones. You don't want to wet the cake part. Yeah, since they are in season, let's make with peaches and I already made this um, for my Armenian channel so one of uh, some of my one of my followers <laughs> there's only one follower <laughs> from my Armenian channel <laughs> anyways what we need this is first of all uh, made with caramel and you will start by making that caramel which is simple water sugar a good amount of sugar which is a cup of sugar and a third of a cup water you want to make sure you wipe that caramel, you don't want to burn it. It burns so quickly. My sugar got all... Oops, let me... All... Uh, I don't know how you say it in English. It got all hardened. I See, I don't really enjoy measuring, pre-measuring ingredients and then uh, starting like with all prepared. I like grabbing things, pouring things. So, in this time, it wasn't very successful. Okay, so the sugar is done. I'll grab the water and you're gonna start from a low heat and go higher. As soon as the caramel reaches that mm, kind of amber color and you can smell that caramel uh, flavor. No, not flavor. Um, smell or fragrance. Fragrance is for fragrances, I know. Anyways, as soon as you smell caramel, it's ready. Don't overcook it, don't burn it. Okay, this will go over heat and we'll continue on slicing. The peach is prepping. Oh, where is that thing? Prepping the thing, which is nine inch cake pan. And we'll go from there. Let me start this one. that's cooking you can go ahead and prepare the pan all you need is to butter it slice the peaches and arrange in the pan nicely the nicer the better will your cake will look later on okay so I have one peach it depends what kind what size of the peach you use and I'm not removing the skin to me it's it's even better tasting and looking with the skin on but if you don't want to have the skin feel free to peel it let me slice the peaches. Let me do it my way. I like slicing it this very simple way. Okay, one peach should be enough. You need only three quarter of a cup um, butter, but also about a tablespoon or less to generously um, grease the pan because if you don't grease it generously later on when you try to uh, turn the cake upside down some of the fruit will stick on the bottom you don't want that to happen that's why please be generous with that parash just like this and the sides too and this wasn't even one tablespoon it was less than a tablespoon and it's enough okay this is ready and then 
Oops. I'll arrange the pages any way you prefer, but better if you do it um, in order, just like this. And don't leave too much space in between. I'm done arranging the pitches and caramel started boiling really vigorously. It's not done yet, it didn't reach that amber color. I'll keep watching this and while it's still cooking, um, I'll combine all the ingredients for the dough. And we need three quarter of a cup butter and then we need two thirds of a cup sugar. You know what else I don't enjoy? Um, those measurements and all the ingredients measured and uh, mentioned when I'm making something. I love adding just, <laughs> I just like enjoy cooking and baking without numbers. Anyways, the full recipe will be on my blog at heavenly.com. I always put down detailed recipes, link below each video. Okay, butter, sugar. I'll beat until butter is fluffy, add my egg, uh, zest of one lemon, sour cream room temperature um, and what was this baking powder vanilla extract pinch of salt and flour i think i said everything now let me finish my beating and mixing watching the caramel and i'll get back to oven 375 degree i started preheating okay we'll be done very quickly <laughs> Someone tried probably removing them when I wasn't around. Is this the right one? No. vanilla extract should be enough and this is starting to reach the color now I'll, I'll give this a quick mix and watch this not to burn it it burns very very quickly within I'd say within seconds look how quickly it's changing the color I may even wait until this is done and then continue on my dough butter not the dough Dough is for breads and other stuff, right? For cakes it's butter. Yeah, I know. Two more minutes or one minute. the color I was talking about. I want you to look at the color. I'm not using any candy thermometers and you don't have to. So as soon as you reach this beautiful color, it's time to pour over the fruit. Just like this. Someone emailed me saying, um, you know, my cake didn't turn out very well. What happened is that the caramel got like all solid when I pour over the fruit and I had to make new caramel, pour it over again. The cake turned out very wet. This is caramel, people. It has to turn, um, it, it has to solidify. With, with this much sugar, there is nothing else that will happen. It will get hardened and that's normal. You don't have to make another batch of caramel, okay? So, in case someone else decides to make second batch of caramel. This is ready. Now we're free from caramel uh, watching butter. It's a good idea to combine the dries, by the way, if I didn't mention. So I'll put my uh, flour, uh, salt, baking powder in a bowl, mix it so everything mixes um, evenly. Let me get a bowl. 
you don't have to overbeat the butter as soon as you add rest of your ingredients um, flour in two to three additions beat a few more minutes one to two minutes and it's ready no overbeating and slow uh, speed done ready I'll spread over the fruit and caramel bake 45 minutes after you bake it you let it cool down on racks on racks on cooling rack <laughs> or on racks about 15 minutes before you turn it upside down and I want to scrape this butter you can't waste it It should have this consistency. And you'll spread it out nice and even. That's it. That's it for now. I'll see you when it's baked and cooled down. Hmm. One more proper scrape. to cool out here in California if you're interested in weather updates and this has cooled down about 20 minutes a bit longer than it was supposed to but it's okay I hope it will turn out perfectly let's see oops you know what I forgot to do before you turn it upside down pass a knife around so it pull a pulls off perfectly I can see the sides have stick um, stick to the sides the sides have stick to the sides <laughs> anyways you know what I'm saying right you you should have learned my my Armenian English for for now see if I did that last step and passed the knife it wouldn't have sticken uh, it wouldn't have sticken <laughs> my English today isn't my English day probably anyways I'm, I'm sure you understood what I mean what matters is the taste of this delicious upside down peach cake or upside down cake you choose the fruit be sure to choose a fruit that doesn't have too much juice or it's not too ripe and let me slice it before I slice it I'm gonna remove all the delicious crust from the sides of the pan you can't waste this this is probably the best part mm, so good delicious and with tea perfection mm. I'll go bring the knife I don't understand and won't even recommend they serve this with dusted sugar it looks it it looks better probably or this is already good looking and pretty sweet cake why would they add uh, extra sugar I'm just gonna show you how it looks but I won't recommend you to do that we have enough sugar in this pastry or cake this is just fine and let me slice it Oops. this this is something that do, you don't even have to chew it, it's gonna just melt let me grab a plate mm -hmm. the most important part of all the videos all the YouTube tutorials is tasting what you've made actually that's my favorite part look how soft and fluffy it looks let me try it for you before you make and try it yourself Because 
food is the best thing ever. Sometimes. Okay, I'll put detailed recipe on my blog at helena.com. Try it, let me know how you liked it. That's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.